Hi guys, welcome. If you're joining class today, I highly recommend having a block handy. If you don't have a block, feel free to use something that's going to be a bit harder. So maybe a really hard cushion or a really, really hard pillow or some books that are a little bit softer and you're not going to slit off of them. So something to be used as a block, highly recommended. And if you ever have sensitive knees or sensitive sit bones like me, have a blanket handy. Make sure the blanket is equally folded. So fold it flat and feel free to sit on a blanket or anything else, any comfortable posture that works for you. Get the spine nice and tall. And if the seated posture is not really for you, feel free to start on your back. So laying on the mat, or maybe have your back against the wall so your back feels supported. As long as there is absolutely no tension in the feet, in the legs, in the hips, shoulders are nice and open and relaxed down your back. Spine is tall. So you're rooted through the sit bones, you're rooted through the hips. The hips feel grounded and supported by the earth beneath you and vertebrae by vertebrae begin to stack your spine tall. Once you find that comfortable posture, maybe tuck the chin slightly so the back of your neck feels long and tall and close your eyes. Arrive on the mat and bring your attention and your focus on your breath. This is the easiest way to let go of anything else. Let go of the day, let go of your expectations for this class and instead follow your breath to a journey inwards. Deepen the inhales. Allow for the inhales to expand the chest open, for the breath to travel through the root of the spine. Maybe even pause at the top of the exhale, feeling really vast and open. And then slowly exhale, feel the breath leaving the body as you feel the support beneath you feeling grounded, feeling calmer, yet lighter. Notice the surface beneath you and how it supports you. Root yourself, your body, to its strength. Next inhale, grow your spine even taller as you begin to envision a tall, strong mountain. As you visualize this grand mountain, this mountain has been here for a long time. Supported by a vast foundation of bedrock. Maybe this mountain is covered by snow. Maybe this mountain is blanketed with trees, beautiful pine trees, just like the Bavarian Alps. Or maybe this mountain is completely bare. However you visualize that mountain, let it be just the way it is in your mind. Just the way it is, it is absolutely fine. Take the next inhale and visualize yourself as this strong, still, powerful mountain. with your head as the peak of the mountain and your spine as the axis of the mountain. Feel yourself becoming this mountain with every single breath, 
inhaling getting taller just like the mountain exhaling feeling grounded strong and supported feel the core of the mountain remain unchanged as the seasons begin to change around it maybe it starts to turn into autumn fall and you see the golden light shining all down your mountain and you see the bright colors all around you as the cycle of life slows down you remain the strong mountain watch as the darkness and the coldness of the winter take hold and sustain through the ice and the snow your mountain remains steady strong and quiet through the storms your mountain stays strong and grounded now you slowly begin to feel the warmth of the sun as it begins a new cycle of life around you spring has sprung and you feel life emerging from the ground the overflowing rush of the melted snow cascading down waterfall just falling down your mountain You hear the song of birds, you hear the dance of new beginnings, and yet you remain the same mountain. The sun sets behind you and begins the summer. You feel the heat, you feel the dryness. You remain steady. As the light and the dark go, as the sun sets behind you and you see the darkness, you begin to unite with the sky above, with the galaxies, with the universe. You feel the unity with the galaxy, with the universe all around you, yet you remain the same mountain. Be the mountain that remains still grounded through all the changes, undisturbed at your very core. Beautiful. Slowly deepen the next breath. Breathing in fresh new life force, fresh new energy, and slow and steady exhale, groundedness, calmness, and lighter. Next breath, to open the eyes. If you're in a different posture, come back to a cross-legged seated position, and let's get started. So as we inhale, we reach the arms all the way up, maybe the palms touch as you exhale bring the prayer down your center long and slow and steady exhale again next inhale comes reach up reach through the fingertips open the shoulders look up maybe the palms touch bring the prayer down the midline as you exhale Next inhale, reach up and really engage the shoulders and the shoulder blades down the back. Touch the palms, exhale, bring it down. Very nice. Next inhale, reach tall. Stay there, twist towards the right side and then exhale the hands down. So the right hand is behind you, supporting your tall spine, and the left hand is opposite 
on the right knee, helping you with this gentle twist. We're just warming up. Inhale, reach the spine tall and allow for this rotation to come from the core. Exhale here. Next inhale, reach back up to the center and switch as you exhale, rotate towards the left. Again, find that tall spine, hand behind you. Take a deep breath, reach through the crown of the head, allow for this twist to come from the core, from the belly, from the ribs. Exhale, here. Next inhale, reach up. Find that tall spine as you root the hips. Bring the prayer down. Notice which shin you have forward. Come onto the fingertips. Spine is tall, heart forward. Leading with the heart. Slowly walk the fingertips forward. A very easy forward fold. Notice that the hips are keeping grounded and rooted into the mat. The hips are not going to lift. Instead, you're just warming up the body, walking the hands forward, maybe coming on to the elbows, or maybe lowering all the way down, making a little pillow for your forehead. Take a deep breath here. Root through the hips as you send the breath into the back body. Bring the fingertips back on the ground. Walk the fingertips back. And now change the crossing of the shin. So the opposite shin is now forward. Again, make sure the hips are leveled. Everything's squared off. Recommit to that connection with the ground. Walk the fingertips forward. Shoulder heads back. Nice and tall spine. Leading with the heart. Walk the fingertips forward and allow for the heart, the head, to get heavier and heavier, folding towards the mat. See if you can keep a tall spine. And then as you exhale, maybe you round it a bit, bringing the forehead down. Taking a deep breath into this forward fold. Bring the fingertips back onto the mat and walk it all the way back. Very nice, you guys. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit different. If you need a blanket, keep the blanket handy. And if you need a block here, feel free to have a block handy. What I really want us to do is tuck the toes under so the toes are flexed. The toes are stretching and we're sitting back on the hips, sitting back on the heels. Spine is tall and you can always bring the hands down by your feet to kind of check this. If this is too much, you can always place a block in between the feet and sit on the block, whichever height that feels right for you. If you can, keep that tall spine, breathe here. Now the next breath, reach the hands behind you, clasp the hands together. If this is too much, feel free to hook the thumbs underneath, uh, behind your back, hook the thumbs behind your back and reach back. If you can, make the fist. And what I really want us to focus is the spine is still tall. We're gonna roll the shoulders back so the shoulder heads are back. The hands are reaching down and further back towards the back of the room to open our heart and the chest. Keep the spine tall, no back bends yet. We're just opening the heart and the shoulders and the chest. Now keep the stretch, bend the elbows, bring that fist or your thumbs over to the right side. So hook it right by your right waist and then bring the right ear to the right shoulder. So you're getting a little bit of a stretch in the side of the neck, the side of the shoulders. I'm just going to twist so you, I can show you guys what's happening in the back. Hmm. The hands are still reaching back, shoulder heads back. 
Inhale, undo, reach back, and let's bring it over to the other side. So hands or the fists come by the left side of the waist, keeping the shoulder heads back, rotating the chest open, bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Get a little bit of a stretch in the side, in the neck area, very nice. Deep breaths here. Undo, bring the hands forward, untuck the toes, and let's slowly send it back to our tabletop. So the wrists are directly under your shoulders, the knees are directly under your hips. And let's do some cat and cows once you find a table, tabletop position. Tailbone, that last bone in your spine, is going to tilt up as you inhale. Engage the belly, arch the spine, and then let the crown of the head reach up towards the ceiling, opening the shoulders. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone down, round the back, just like a scared cat. Crown of the head comes down, look in between the knees towards the back. Press the mat away so you open the space in the back between the shoulder blades. Inhale once again. Arch, reach the crown of the head and the tailbone up. Exhale, tuck the tail under, round the spine. One more inhale. Pressing all ten fingertips, inner hand into the mat, arching the spine. Exhale, round it, tuck the tailbone, press the mat away. Beautiful. Come back into a neutral spine and maybe walk the feet further back, keeping the hips on top of the knees. Walk the hands forward, coming into puppy pose. So you're actively reaching the hands forward. And then maybe you bring the chin, if this is too much, bring the forehead down to the mat. Actively reach the fingers, the inner space in the hand forward and press the fingers and the inner space into the mat. So you're actually lifting the arms away from the mat, getting a little bit stretch and warming up the arms. Send one more deep breath into this puppy pose. Beautiful. Bring the elbows down. Reach the heart and the chest and the chin forward into Sphinx pose. Reaching the toes back. Toes are on the mat. Tailbone lengthening back. There is no tension or compression in the lower back. The lower back feels lengthened. Actively press the legs back and slightly away here in the low back region so you're creating more space. And then press all 10 fingers, the inner hand, the elbows into the mat for you to be able to open the heart and the chest forward, engaging the back muscles. Deep breath here. Lower down to the mat, forehead down. Beautiful. Reach the hands all the way back. Now bring the palms on the mat. So fingers, toes, tailbone, everything is reaching towards the back of the room. Palms are on the mat. As we inhale, we're going to lift the hands and the legs off the mat. One, two, three. Inhale everything away from the mat. Reach through the fingertips towards the back of the room. Shoulder heads move back. Chest is open, heart is open. Get a little bit of juice in the legs. Reach through the toes all the way back. Lift the legs a little bit higher, chest a little bit higher, pubic bone down. Exhale, release. Maybe make a pillow for your forehead. Maybe bend the knees and swish or windshield wipe the feet from side to side. Beautiful. Bring everything back to the mat. 
This time we're gonna reach the hands back, make a fist, or if this is too much, hook the thumbs. Wherever you are on the inhale, everything's gonna lift up. Exhale here, one, two, three. Inhale, lift into this variation of Shalambhasana. Again, feet reaching back, feet are reaching back, fist is reaching back, shoulders are open, heart is open. Lift a little bit higher, pubic bone down. Exhale, release. Make your forehead if you need to. Windshield wipe the legs side to side. Now let's try something a little bit different. Hands reach forward, pinky finger, the pinky edge of the hand is on the floor. Feet are still reaching back and they're engaged, toes pointing back. As we inhale, we're gonna lift into superwoman. Exhale, all the air out here. Inhale, lift up. Everything reaching up and away from you, creating space, feeling elongated into the body. Reach the arms higher. Maybe try to bring the elbows by the ears. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Give me one more deep breath here. Exhale, release. Well done. Windshield wipe the legs. Now bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under without thinking about this too much. Press up into plank pose. Bring the feet closer together. Press the mat away, shoulders are open. And really think about engaging the hips here so there is one strong line of energy from the heels to the crown of the head, pressing the mat away, lifting through the side of the waist. Inhale deeply. Exhale, send it to dog. And you're in downward facing dog. In down dog. Let's first bring the attention to the hands. So maybe you want to open the hands a little bit angled out if it's a little bit easier for you. Whatever you do, make sure all 10 fingers, the space between the index and the thumb is pressing deeply into the mat so much that you're pressing yourself away from the front of the mat and shifting the weight into the feet. Well done. Next, inhale, create space between the ears and the shoulders, so widen the upper back. Really helps when you bring the crease of the elbows, or otherwise known as the eye of the elbow, towards each other or towards the front of the room. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, press the upper thighs all the way up and back. And then try your best to send the hips as far up and as far back as possible. Beautiful. Let's bend one knee, send the hips even higher, lengthen the spine all the way back. Bring that heel back, straighten the leg. Bend the opposite knee, Shift the hips all the way up and back, and then straighten that leg. One more deep inhale, pressing the mat away. And a deep exhale, sinking into the heels. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, leading with the crown of the head into plank pose. Strong plank. Exhale, lower the knees down on top the toes. Bend the elbows, lowering knees, chest, and chin all the way to the mat. Inhale the heart forward, low cobra. Toes are on the mat, reaching back. Palms underneath the shoulders. Neck is in line with the spine. Shoulder heads up and back. Exhale, bring the forehead down. Make your way back into downward facing dog. So what we just did, that little 
sequence where we go from down dog to plank, lower knees, chest and chin, and back to dog. This is called a flow or a vinyasa. This is your option one. So you always can take this option whenever you need it. Now, let's take a second option. So from down dog, exhale deeply. Inhale into plank pose, strong plank. This time, lower the body all the way down with control, bending the elbows by your side, keeping that strong line of energy from the heel to the crown of the head, untuck the toes. Maybe you come up a little bit higher, bring the hands a little bit down towards the lower belly. Inhale the heart up and back. Shoulders still back, legs are still connected with the mat. Exhale, press into plank and downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. So what you just did, that's also a vinyasa. That's your other option if you want a little bit more challenge. And if you feel like you're warmed up and you're ready for a little bit more of a challenge, inhale into plank pose, strong line of energy. Bend the elbows, lower halfway, chaturanga. Roll or step on the tops of the toes. Inhale into upward facing dog. Notice that only the tops of my toes are on the mat. Inhale the heart up and back. Exhale, roll or step over to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Beautiful. Now maybe bring the feet a little bit closer together. Inhale the right leg nice and tall, three-legged dog. Reach through that lifted leg, keep the hips squared. Hips are squared, you're reaching the right leg all the way back, both palms pressing evenly into the mat. Exhale, bend the right knee, roll over into plank, bring the right knee into the nose. Imagine you are going to kiss that knee, round the spine, press the mat away, engage the core, get a little bit tighter, and then send the right leg back into three-legged dog. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Next inhale, left leg reaches back, nice and tall, reach through the left leg, ground through the right heel, press both palms evenly into the mat. And then as you exhale, bend the left knee, roll it in, so knee to nose, get really, really tight. Imagine you're going to kiss the left knee, round the back, press the mat away, engage the core, belly button into the spine, and then inhale, send that leg back, three-legged dog, reach through that leg, and then exhale, back into downward facing dog. In down dog. Take a deep inhale, start and exhale, bend the knees, look forward, slowly walk to pito or however you prefer, reach the top of the mat. When you reach the top of the mat, make sure the feet are parallel and then inhale here halfway, spine is tall, Hands could be on the mat or on the shin, crown of the head forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold. <sighs> All right, you guys. Let's focus on keeping the hips sort of on top of the heels. Instead of sending the hips back, we're actually going to keep the hips where they are and send the sit bones up towards the ceiling. So we're actually actively opening the backs of the legs. Key here, find a balance between engaging the weight in all four corners of your feet. So your toes, the ball of the foot, inner, outer, and the heel have equal amounts of weights in 
to all four corners of the feet. Again, shift the sit bones all the way up. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Maybe sway side to side if it feels good. Let the lower back lengthen and then let the spine melt down into the mat. Vertebrae by vertebrae. It's like a cascading waterfall falling from the peak of the mountain, which is your tailbone, all the way down towards the mat. Crown of the head reaching down. Neck is relaxed. No tension in the shoulders. <sighs> Send a deep breath into the backs of those legs. Release the arms. Send the tailbone down. Bend the knees deeply. And then begin to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Stacking bone on top of bone. Creating your mountain, your Tadasana. Beautiful. Take a look at the feet. Make sure the feet are completely parallel. So the feet can be together or they can be slightly apart as long as they're hip distance apart. What's really important is that the feet are parallel. Beautiful. Now tuck the tailbone down towards the earth to lengthen through the entire body, engaging the core belly button in, lengthen through the side body, side waist, shoulders roll down the back, palms open towards the front of the room. Tuck the chin, crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. This is why this pose is called the mountain pose, Tadasana in Sanskrit. Take a deep inhale. Feel like you're that strong, powerful mountain. Grounded and stable. Bring the palms together. Take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale. Grounding through both feet. Inhale, reach the prayer all the way up. High prayer. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Chest is open, shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Next, inhale, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up, bring the arms all the way around. Allow for the palms to touch, high prayer. Bring all that energy into midline. Namaste. Let's keep on building on that flow. Inhale, reach up, high prayer. Maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway, spine is tall. Exhale, plant the palms down, step the left leg back runner's lunge. So the front leg is parallel to the outer edge of your mat. Front knee is bent 90 degrees right over that ankle. Back leg is nice and strong and stable. You're on the ball of the back foot. Hips are squared towards the front of the room. Fingers can be on the block. Palms can be on the mat. Whatever helps you find that tall line of energy from the back heel to the crown of the head, shoulders are back, heart is open. This is runner's lunge. Plant the palms, step into plank pose. Inhale in plank. As you exhale, take a flow of your choice. Lowering with control. Inhale, opens the heart, opens the chest. And exhale, sends you to downward facing dog. <sighs> Left leg in between the palms, runner's lunge on the opposite side. Take a moment, situate yourself. Again, front knee bent 90 degrees. Back leg is nice and strong and stable. One line of energy from the back heel to the crown of the head. Shoulders are pressed back, heart is open. As you exhale, plant the palms, step the back leg forward, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, high prayer. Exhale, closes this round. Well done. 
We're going to keep building on that. Inhale, high prayer, maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, right leg back this time, runner's lunge. Inhale here. As you exhale, walk the hands and shift the weight back. Straighten both legs. Notice front foot is flexed, toes are pointing up towards my face. Find a tall spine here, shoulders plug back, leading with the heart. Begin to fold over that leg. No need to go too deep, just a very gentle pyramid pose. Inhale back into your runner's lunge. Exhale, plant the palms, step into plank pose. Inhale, strong plank. Exhale, lowering with control your vinyasa. Inhale, opens the heart and the chest. Exhale, sends you to downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Right leg in between the palms, runner's lunge on the right side. Inhale here. As you exhale, walk the hands, straighten the front leg, toes pointing towards you, flex that foot. Hips are squared, heart is open, shoulders are back. Exhale, fold, <sighs> pyramid pose. Again, no need to go too deep here, we're just warming up. Inhale, back into runner's lunge. Exhale, step the back leg forward, forward, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, high prayer. Bring the prayer to the midline, namaste. Okay, let's keep building some heat. Inhale, high prayer. Exhale, fold. This time as you inhale, chair pose, sit the hips back, shift the weight into the heels and into the hips. Make sure if you look down, you can see the toes, so the knees are behind the toes. And then let's bring the awareness to the upper body. So tailbone lengthening down towards the mat. Lift the belly away from the thighs. Spine is tall. Engage the arms. Lift the arms up. Inhale. Open the heart. Open the chest forward. Maybe give a little bit of a smile. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper into those legs. One more deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, prepare. As we exhale, step, hop, jump back into Chaturanga. So lowering with control, halfway. Inhale, opens the heart into upward facing dog. Toes reaching back. Exhale, downward facing dog. In down dog, lift the right leg, three-legged dog, reach through that back leg. Exhale, bend the knee, step the right leg in between the palms, spin the back heel down, rising up into warrior one. So again, that front knee is bent 90 degrees. The back leg, nice and strong and straight. All four corners of the back foot are pressing into the mat. Send the tailbone down, square the hips towards the front of the room, engage the arms, lift the arms all the way up, allow for this lift to come from the side waist, bend a little bit deeper into that front leg, inhale, lift up, exhale, palms to the mat, your choice, take a vinyasa or meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, opens the heart. Exhale, sends you to dog. Take a deep inhale here. And a deep exhale. Lift the left leg up, three-legged dog. Again, reach through the back, lift the leg, keeping the hips squared. 
As you exhale, bend the left knee, engage the core, and then step the left leg in between the palms. Spin the back heel down, lift up, warrior one on the left side. So that left knee is still bent 90 degrees right over that ankle. Back leg is nice and strong and straight. All four corners of the back leg pressing into the mat. Send the tailbone down, engage the core. Square the hips to the front of the room. Lift the arms up. Palms can touch, you can make a mudra, whatever arm variation that works for you. Inhale, reach up, allow for the heart to open. Hmm. Bring the hands down on your exhale. Step to plank pose. Take a deep inhale, lowering with control, taking your vinyasa. Let's all need a downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale. Start and exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, hop, or jump to the front of the mat, arrive into flat back, and then exhale, fold, hum. Let it all go. Inhale, chair pose to close the salutation. Sit the hips back, open the arms, open the heart, reach up. Exhale, bring the palms to the heart. Stand tall. Wonderful. Let's keep building on to that flow. So exhale, release the arms by your side. Tadasana. Inhale, reach up high prayer. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Step, hop, jump back, find your chaturanga, whichever feels good for you. Lowering with control, inhale, opens the heart, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg nice and tall. Reach through the right leg and then exhale, step the right leg in between the palms, spin the back heel down, warrior one. Inhale here, reach up, warrior one. Notice how your hips are going to stay square. Reach the hands back behind you, make a fist, or use your thumbs just like we did earlier. Keep the hips square, keep that front knee bent, puff the chest up like you're feeling really proud. Beaming the heart up towards the sky, reach the shoulders uh, down the back. As we exhale, we're gonna fold inside of the bent front knee, keeping the hips squared, reaching the fist up towards the ceiling. You don't have to go too deep if you don't want to. As long as the hips are squared and we're not letting the hips go towards the side of the right leg. Keep reaching the fist back Opening the chest, humble warrior. One more deep breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, send it up to warrior one. Inhale in warrior one. Maybe bring the palms together, maybe make a mudra. Reach up. See if you're ready for a gentle back bend here, beaming the heart up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, palms to the mat, frame the front foot, step back, take a vinyasa, or meet us in downward facing dog. Beautiful. Give me a deep cleansing breath in, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, nice and tall. Reach through the left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee, squeeze and use the core. Step the left leg in between the palms. Spin the back heel down, rising up into warrior one with the left leg in the front. 
Again, situate yourself. If you need to step a little bit wider, do that. Front is bent right over that ankle. Hips are squared, reaching the arms, engaging the core, tailbone down. Sit a little bit deeper. Release the arms behind you. Clasp the hands, use your thumbs. Inhale, lift the chest, pull the shoulders down. Keep the hips square, keep that front knee bent. Stay with me, inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, keeping the hips square. Let's fold inside of the bent front knee. Keep reaching the arms back. Keep, maybe if it feels good for you, the crown of the head down. Inhale, chest opens, heart opens. Exhale, one more deep breath here. Come back into warrior one, release the arms. Bring the palms together, maybe make a mudra. And then reach up, if you're ready, a gentle back bend. Beam the heart up. And release, exhale. Step to your plank pose. Take a vinyasa or meet us in downward facing dog, your choice. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, send you to dog. Inhale, exhale. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. Look forward, start and exhale. Bend the knees deeply, step, hop, or jump to the front of the mat, arriving in flat back. Inhale here, as you exhale, fold. Let it all go. Beautiful. Inhale, sit chair pose. Sit the hips back, heart up, arms up. Engage the belly, so belly button into the spine. Lift the lower ribs away from the thighs. Inhale, one more deep inhale here, one more deep breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high prayer, come all the way up, and let's close this sequence with a namaste. Well done. Okay, back into Tadasana. I'm just going to face you so you can see what's going on. Again, recommit to the parallel legs and your mountain pose. Inhale the arms all the way up. If it's easier for you to bring the feet together, I like to have my toes closer together, my heels slightly apart. Reach and re-engage the arms. So you're actively reaching up towards the ceiling, shoulders out of the ears, engaging the core so the tailbone is down. Lift up. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to side bend towards the right. Let the hips go towards the side. Reach through the fingertips. Re-lengthen the spine. Maybe a gently twist the heart up. Maybe even look up. Reach and exhale. Deeper side bend. Come back into the center. Re-engage the arms. Lengthen. And then exhale. Bend over towards the left side. Again, let the hips go out towards the side. And then inhale, re-engage, reach through the hands, maybe heart and the gaze look up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath here. Exhale, let it go. Come back to the center, reach up, and relax the hands by the side. Well done. Come back into Chodasana. Inhale, reach up high prayer. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left leg back. Come back into your runner's lunge. Now, use a block if you need it. I highly recommend. If you can, bring both palms to the mat. 
ground through the left palm and this is where I highly recommend to use a block. The left hand is inside of the right leg, you're into your runner's lunge and press through the left hand, the left palm to open the right hand and twist the chest. Make sure the twist is coming from the core. That back leg is still nice and engaged. You're on the ball of that back foot. Back leg is straight. Front knee is bent 90 degrees. And you're opening and twisting into this lunge. One strong line of energy from the top fingertips to the bottom hand. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Back into runner's lunge. Listen carefully. Highly recommend shifting the block over to the outside of the right leg. Plant the right hand on the block now. Spin the back heel down. And then lift the left arm all the way up towards the ceiling. So twisting over. Coming into side angle pose. So again, press the right hand into the block or into the mat. One strong line of energy towards the top fingertips. Imagine someone is pulling you up towards the sky. Hmm. Very nice, you guys. One more deep breath here. Really engage the feet. Feet are strong and they're supporting you in this pose. Now lift the bottom hand and come into your peaceful warrior. So front knee still bent, the right hand is reaching up and back behind you. There, you feel the stretch into every side rib, side of the body. One more deep breath. And flow, bring the hands to the mat. Step into plank pose, take a flow, or meet us in downward facing dog, your choice. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. In down dog, lift the left leg nice and high. Step the left leg in between the palms into your runner's lunge. Find the runner's lunge first. Bring the block or whatever you need to use by your side. Have it handy. So first, the block is going to go inside of the left leg. Our right hand is going to come onto the block or to the mat. Recommit to that strong line of energy into the back leg. And then press the right hand in, twist the chest over towards the side. You're into twisted lunge. Reach the top hand far up. Chest is open, heart is open, shoulders are open. Take a deep breath here. Exhale here. One more deep inhale. Bring the top hand down back into runner's lunge. Shift the block over to the other side so the block is outside of the left leg. The left hand pressing deeply into the block. Spin the back heel down. Lift the right arm up towards the sky. So again, press that left hand into the block to open the chest, lift you away from the, from the mat into the side angle pose. Heart is open, chest is open, reaching up towards the sky. One more deep breath. Now engage the feet so the feet are super strong and they're lifting you up in this pose. Lift the bottom hand and come into peaceful warrior. So notice that front knee still bent. We're stretching the side body. The back hand can be on the back leg, or you can make a little half bind here, reaching the left arm up and behind you. One more deep breath into Peaceful Warrior. Exhale, spin the hands towards the mat. Your choice, take a vinyasa, or meet us in Downward Facing Dog. Well, 
Done. In down dog. Take a nice and deep cleansing breath. Inhale, right leg nice and tall. Exhale, right foot in between the palms. Coming on to runner's lunge. Take, taking a twisted runner's lunge, left hand down, right arm up. Breath and movement, we're gonna move a lot faster this time. So from twisted lunge, bring the top hand down, runner's lunge, press, use your block, or bring the hand to the mat, spin the back heel down, side angle pose. Deep inhale here, exhale here. Next inhale, lift it up into Peaceful Warrior. Beautiful. Exhale into Second Warrior, Warrior Two. I'm just gonna face you guys. So you're in Second Warrior with the right leg bent. Bend deeply into that right leg, keeping that 90 degree, keeping that knee right on top of the ankle. Back leg nice and strong, hips are open, arms reaching towards opposite directions. One strong line of energy from that right hand all the way to the back left hand. Sit a little bit deeper, Gaze forward, right over that middle front finger. Exhale, shoulders out of the ears. One more deep inhale. Deep exhale. Straighten the front leg. Send the hips all the way back. Reach through the front hand so much that you can't reach anymore. Bring that hand down. Open the top arm towards the ceiling. Triangle pose. You can use the shin here or use a block if this is too much for you. Chest is open, heart is open. Maybe you look up towards the ceiling. The legs support you in this pose. If it's too much for the front leg, you can always have a little bend in the front knee to protect that knee. One more deep inhale here. Exhale, look down towards the front leg. This is where a block is very handy, you guys. If you have a block, use it here for sure. Look down towards the front leg, bend the front knee, walk the block or your hand forward. Maybe step that back leg in a little bit. And then as we inhale, we're gonna lift into half moon. Lift up into half moon. Hmm. Press all four corners of the bottom leg into the mat. The back leg can be flexed. Imagine you're stepping the back leg on the back wall. Chest is open, reaching the top hand up towards the ceiling. The bottom hand can be on a block or on the mat. Reach that left arm up towards the ceiling. Looking down always helps me with balance in this pose. Slowly bend the standing leg, reach the back leg, come back into warrior two. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale here. Peaceful warrior, send it back. And hands back on the mat, take a flow, or step to downward facing dog, your choice. Beautiful. Take a deep cleansing breath. Come back to your intention. Think of yourself as a tall, strong mountain that you are. Give me all that you got. Inhale, left leg nice and high. Step the left leg in between the palms, runner's lunge. Have the block handy. Let's take a twisted lunge first. So right hand down, opening the chest, twisting from the torso over to the side, twisted lunge. Taking a deep inhale and exhale, bring the top hand down, switch the block. 
spin the back heel down, lift up into side angle pose. Press the left hand into the mat, open the heart, engage the feet, inhale here, exhale here. Next inhale, peaceful warrior. Send it back. And back into warrior two. Find your stance, take a moment. There's a heel to heel or a heel to arch ratio. Front knee is bent right over that ankle. Sit a little bit deeper. Shoulders out of the ears. Arms reaching into oppositional forces. Gaze is over that front middle finger. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Next inhale, straighten the legs, send the hips back. Reach so much that you can't reach anymore. Bring that hand down. Open up into triangle pose. Imagine there is a wall behind you, so you could lean against that wall to open the heart and the chest up. If you feel like you're dropping, use a block here or bring the hand to the shin. One more deep inhale. Claim as much space as you want. Look down towards the bottom leg. Use a block. Bring your hand or the block. Bend that front knee. Step the back leg in slightly. And lift it up into half moon. So once again, you can have that back leg flexed. Imagine there's a wall and you're able to step the back foot on the wall. Top hand reaching up towards the ceiling, chest is open. Maybe look down to help with the balance. Hmm. Deep breaths. Slowly bend the standing leg, reach the back leg all the way back, arrive back into warrior two. Sit a little bit deeper. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And spin the hands to the mat. Take a flow or meet us in downward facing dog, your choice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale deeply, look forward. Ex start and exhale, bend the knees, step, hop, or jump forward to the front of the mat, arriving in halfway. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, rise all the way up. And let's close this chapter with a namaste. Beautiful, you guys. Step the right leg back. So come into a wide-legged stance pose. For the first round, let's bring the toes in, heels out slightly. It's called pigeon toe. It's going to protect our knees. Bring the hands to the hips. Notice where the hips are. Try your best not to let the hips go back. Imagine there's a wall behind you. You could not send the hips back. Inhale here, spine is tall, tailbone down. Lift the heart without sending the hips back. Fold over the legs, fold over the hips. Maybe pause, lead the heart, lengthen the spine forward, and slowly exhale all the way down. Bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Send the shoulders up and back. Inhale and fold deeper, bringing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. 
Your choice, you can stay here or you can grab big toes with your index and your middle finger with the peace fingers. Wrap around the toes. Open the elbows out to the side. Inhale, lengthen as you exhale. Widen the elbows out to the side. Crown of the head down, shoulders back. Stay here for two breaths. Next inhale, come up halfway. Release the toes, bring the hands down underneath the shoulders. And then bring the hands to the hips. Slowly come back up. Well done. Now the toes are going to point all the way out and you're going to bend the knee. So see if you can open the toes out towards the side, opening the knees. And see if you can keep the knees on top of the ankles. Inhale, maybe bring the hands to the upper thighs, to the hip crease, and press down to ground the thighs and find your balance here for just a couple of breaths. Inhale, spine is tall, shoulders are back, tailbone down, opening the hips, opening the knees out to the side. Well done. Find the balance here. Inhale the arms all the way up. Maybe make a mudra. Exhale, stay here. Now lower the arms forward. So the arms are forward, reaching forward. Shoulders are back. Bring the left hand underneath the right hand. Bring the left elbow underneath the right. Make eagle arms. Keep sitting in that horse dance. Bring the palms together to touch, if you can. Bring the shoulders down the back. Lift the elbows up. Inhale. Stay here for one. Exhale. Release the arms. And let's switch. So now the right arm is underneath the left. Again, find your eagle arms, palms touch, shoulders down the back, lift the elbows, inhale, exhale, sit a little bit deeper, inhale, reach everything back up, exhale, bring the hands to the hips, slowly bring the feet forward. Keep the feet wide. Let's take one more fold forward just to release. And then we're out of this pose. So toes in, heels out. Inhale, exhale, fold. Just a breath. Inhale, lift halfway, hands to the hips. Come all the way up. Step forward to the front of the mat. Let's do one last throw before we close. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway. Step, hop, or jump back into chaturanga, your choice, lowering with control. Inhale, open the heart, up and back. And exhale, sends you to the downward facing dog. In down dog, let's do just a bit of a core work before we move on. So lift the right leg nice and high. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, lift the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale here, press the mat away, and lift back up, three-legged dog. This time, right knee to left elbow, twist underneath. Lift up. Engage the core, get really, really tight. And lift back up the relay dog. Back into downward facing dog. Left leg 
reaches up on your inhale. Bend the left knee, left knee to the nose. Get really, really tight, round up. Back into three-legged dog. This time, left knee to the left elbow. Squeeze, stay here. Inhale, press the mat away. And back into three-legged dog. Left knee to the right elbow, twist underneath, get really, really tight. And back into three-legged dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> Bend the knees, lower the knees down. <sighs> okay, let's come into sit in the middle of the mat. Open the knees out to the side. Bring the soles of the feet together. And we're going to bring the hands and open the soles of the feet, just like if it was a book that you wanted to read. Sit bones are really committed and grounded on the mat. Knees are open out to the side, and you're actively trying to open the soles of the feet. Spine is tall, shoulders down the back. Inhale here, exhale here. Now we're gonna do just a quick cat and cow in this position. So as we inhale, arch the back. As you exhale, round the back. One more inhale, and exhale. Close the soles of the feet, and grab the feet, maybe make a mudra. Inhale, leading with the heart, exhale. Folding over, opening the hips. Actively pressing the knees out. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper. No need, no rush to do anything, to achieve anything. Just only go as far as it feels right for your body. Bring a block or a hard cushion or your blanket with you. You can also do this next pose up against the wall. Please bring the feet to the mat, bending the knees, and then slide yourself down so you give a, yourself a little bit more space to lie back. Spine is tall. Take a moment here. If you feel like there's a little bit of a compression here. Bring the palms and the feet, press them into the mat, lift the hips up, and then give yourself a little bit more space by lengthening the tailbone towards the front of the room and then placing the hips down so you feel a lot more space in the lower back and in the spine. Find that tall spine, back of the neck is long, and then bring the block blanket or the cushion, place it under the hips. Make sure it's stable and sturdy and grounded. Ah. Take a deep breath. Sink everything down. Let everything go. And then the next breath, relaxing the palms on the mat. Let's inhale the legs all the way up. So again, make sure that you feel comfortable, stable, and sturdy in the support, whatever you're using. The legs are flexed, so the toes are pointing back. You can even step on the ceiling if you wanted to. So the legs are very energized in this pose. Get really nice and comfortable. We're going to be here for a few deep breaths. We put our legs through so much. So let us give this moment back to the legs so the blood can recirculate down the legs. Imagine if the feet were the peaks of the mountain, the snow is now cascading, falling down the ankles, the shins, the knees, all down 
to the thighs, the hamstrings, and all the way down into the hip creases. And your body is collecting and letting go at the same time. Deep breaths, use these closing poses to prepare you for Shavasana. So when you get to Shavasana, you're already there. Bring the feet, the knees, feet back to the mat. Take the support away from you. And shift everything away from the mat. Sometimes it feels good to hug the knees in. Taking a moment here just to give your lower back a little bit of a massage. If it feels right for you, maybe come into happy baby, your choice. If you're coming into happy baby, please make sure the spine is long on the mat so the tailbone is still connected with the mat. Maybe it feels good for you to sway side to side. Gentle massage for the back. Maybe you prefer to straighten the legs. Whatever your body is asking you to do, give it that. And wherever you are, bring the knees and the feet together so the legs are glued together. Bring the knees right on top of the hips. Open the arms out to the side. Root the shoulders glued into the mat. Next, exhale. Bring the legs over to one side. Look over towards the opposite shoulder. Really make sure that shoulder blade is not going to leave the mat. And then when you bring the feet down, maybe the knees open, doesn't matter. As long as you get a very gentle, nice twist into the spine. And then send the thop of that thop thigh forward and down so you feel length in here. And then relax everything back down. Deep breaths out in the left shoulder. All the way through the left fingertips out towards the earth. Bring it all back to the center over towards the other side. So the legs, the knees go over to the left, maybe, and you're looking over to the right. The right shoulder is glued into the mat. Again, the top thigh goes forward and down, so you have a lot of space here if you lengthen. And then send the breath out into the right shoulder, all the way out towards the right fingertips. Bring it back in. If you want to hug the knees in, maybe you want to squeeze into a ball. Whatever your body's saying, give it that. And then open out into Shavasana. Claim as much space as you like. Open the feet wide. Make sure the hips feel really nice and supported. The spine is tall. Shoulders relaxing down the back. Neck is tall, palms are open towards the sky, receiving energy from the universe. Allow the eyes to rest into their socket by closing the eyes. Take a journey inward, allowing for your practice to dissolve into the mouth.
forehead, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the cheekbones, relax the face, shoulders melting down into the spine and into that heart shining, beaming up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Belly soft, ribs are soft, hips are supported, thighs are resting on the mat, knees feeling rested and supported by the mat, feet are relaxed and resting on the mat. Every single nerve, every single muscle, Every single joint in your body feels completely relaxed. From the crown of the head to your toes. fingers, the toes, maybe pointing and flexing the feet to wake up the feet. And maybe reach the arms all the way up above the head, like you were just waking up in the morning. Sometimes I like to grab one wrist, reach over that side, give myself a little side stretch, come back to the center, opposite wrist, Lengthen over that side and then maybe give yourself a hug, bending the knees in. Ask yourself, do you want to lie on the right or the left side? And pause in this fetal position, transitioning as yogis on and off the mat. Using the top hand, help yourself to get back up into a comfortable seated position. Keep the eyes closed. Keep the gaze inward if possible. Find that support. Root yourself down. Lengthen the spine tall. Check in with yourself, see how your body is feeling, how is your mind, how is your breath, how is your energy level. Whatever comes up, notice it without judgment. Bring the hands together. Thumbs connected with the heart. Let's take a moment in gratitude. Thanking ourselves for tuning in and sticking with the practice. No matter how challenging or easy or different this practice may have been, we showed up, we did it, we stick to it. With that feeling of gratitude, inhale, up, exhale, bow to yourself, thanking yourself, and thanking all those who made these practices possible. Namaste. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope to see you guys in practice whether live on Zoom or hopefully soon in the shower or next time on YouTube. Thank you.